Popcorn is one of those foods that instantly sparks curiosity. We all know the sound, the smell, and the joy of biting into a fluffy piece. But have you ever stopped to wonder what actually makes that hard little kernel transform into the airy snack we love? It turns out that popcorn isn't just an ordinary grain. It's a tiny pressure cooker waiting to happen. Today, we're diving deep into the science behind why popcorn pops, exploring what makes it unique, and uncovering the fascinating process that turns a tiny seed into a delicious puff. Stay tuned as we break down the science, the history, and even a few surprising facts about popcorn. Right here on History of Simple Things. Popcorn is a type of maize or corn, but not just any corn. It's Zia maize everta, the only variety of corn that reliably pops. Each kernel has three key parts, the pericarp, which is the hard outer shell, the germ or seed embryo, and the endosperm, the starchy center. What sets popcorn apart from other types of corn is the pericarp, which is particularly strong and impervious to moisture. This allows the kernel to trap heat and steam until internal pressure builds enough to cause the kernel to explode. Unlike soft kernels of sweet corn or field corn, popcorn kernels have the perfect combination of moisture content and a tough shell, making them essentially tiny, natural pressure cookers. The moisture inside a popcorn kernel is a critical part of the popping process. On average, each kernel contains about 13 to 14 percent water trapped within its starchy core. When heat is applied, whether from a stovetop, microwave, or popcorn machine, that water begins to turn into steam. Because the pericarp is strong and not permeable to gas, the steam can escape. As a result, pressure inside the kernel rises steadily. This is a bit like inflating a tiny balloon inside a hard shell. The heat also gelatinizes the starch inside, turning it soft and pliable so that when the shell finally bursts, it expands rapidly into the airy foam structure we recognize as popcorn. Without the right amount of moisture, a kernel either won't pop or will pop weakly producing those dreaded half-popped kernels often called old maids. As the kernel heats up, the water inside creates increasing amounts of steam, raising the pressure within the pericarp. Studies show that the internal pressure can reach around 135 PSI before the kernel ruptures. That's roughly nine times the pressure in a typical car tire all packed into a kernel smaller than a dime. Once the pericarp finally fails under the pressure, the kernel bursts open almost instantaneously. The sudden release of pressure causes the superheated water inside to rapidly vaporize, expanding the softened starch and proteins into the irregular airy shapes we see. This explosive reaction happens in a fraction of a second, which is why popcorn seems to jump when it pops. The physics here are a delicate balance of heat, moisture, and structural integrity. Too much or too little of any component, and the kernel won't pop correctly. The starch inside a popcorn kernel is what ultimately forms the fluffy part we eat. When the kernel heats, the starch gelatinizes, absorbing water and becoming soft and malleable under pressure. Once the pericarp bursts, the sudden drop in pressure allows the starch to expand rapidly, trapping air and steam to create the puffy, foam-like structure. As it cools, the starch solidifies again, giving popcorn its familiar, crunchy texture. This process is a type of physical transformation rather than a chemical one. The starch doesn't change chemically, it just changes shape. It's a striking example of how heat and pressure can completely transform a food item's texture in seconds, turning a tiny hard kernel into a light, crunchy treat almost magically. Even though every popcorn kernel contains water and starch, not all of them pop. 
Some kernels have tiny cracks or weak spots in their outer shell, which lets steam escape gradually and prevents the pressure from building enough for an explosion. Others might be too dry, lacking sufficient moisture to create the necessary steam, or they might heat unevenly, allowing the water to leak out before the starch is ready to expand. That's why every batch usually has a few stubborn old maids that never fully pop. It's a reminder that popping popcorn is a delicate balance of moisture, heat, and shell strength, and even tiny differences in a kernel can affect the result. There are several ways to pop popcorn, and each affects both its texture and flavor. Stovetop popping uses oil, which transfers heat evenly and often produces slightly crispier popcorn. Air poppers heat the kernels with hot air alone, resulting in lighter, lower-calorie popcorn. Microwave popcorn heats water molecules inside the kernels directly, usually with added oil or butter, to help with heat transfer and flavor. Despite the method, the underlying science stays the same. Heat builds internal pressure, starch gelatinizes, and the kernel bursts. Even the shapes of popped corn can differ. Mushroom kernels are rounder and sturdier, while butterfly kernels have irregular wings, making them ideal for holding toppings like caramel or cheese. Popcorn may look simple, but it's a perfect example of science at work in everyday life. Each kernel is a tiny pressure vessel containing just the right amount of water, a tough outer shell, and starch that transforms under heat. When the internal pressure reaches its limit, the kernel bursts, instantly expanding into the fluffy, crunchy treat we enjoy. Understanding why popcorn pops shows that even something as ordinary as snack food can involve fascinating physics, chemistry, and biology. Next time you hear that satisfying pop or watch a bowl fill up, remember that it's not magic. It's a perfectly timed, tiny explosion happening again and again right inside each kernel. Thank you for watching. If you have suggestions for our next video, feel free to share them in the comments below. We'll be sure to give you an acknowledgement for your contribution. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the history of simple things. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more stories woven through the smallest details.